How's it going guys? It's Derek Swain Jr. Thank you guys so much for still being here, for still following my journey and sticking with me throughout real estate. It's not easy, but I enjoy doing it. I love the work. And that's why if you love to just do the work or you at least enjoy helping people, Redfin will be a great place for you to get started in real estate. Like I always preach, I'm not here to sell you on Redfin, I'm just sharing my experience. But if you have a consistent business, like I always say, 12 months out of the year, you have consistent business, you don't need Redfin, but if you are someone new trying to, trying to establish yourself in this business, Redfin is a great place to be. So let's, let's get straight into it. I'm in my third month with Redfin. Yes, I've only still only closed the one deal at 2.5. I have over three to four clients getting pre-approved. I have another client that's a cash offer and we're just showing properties until they're ready to write an offer. So within three months, I mean, to close at 2.5 and that was a healthy check, hey, that was nice, you know? So I'm still grinding, I'm still poking at it. Redfin does give you a lot of clientele. You do have the support to back you up, but it is a grind. You gotta poke at it every day. You gotta follow up with people and you gotta just stick with it. So they will put you to work. They will make sure that you are consistently engaging with people and trying to grow. I mean, that's just, that's just what it is. You know, I say use this as a stepping stone. So when you are busy through your own brokerage or through your own traditional real estate, you know how to handle that storm. I love preaching, even though Redfin provides you with a lot of clientele, they give you the tools to back it up. They give you the resources to make sure that you're able to handle the workload. It's not just here, all this stuff and you work it, you have so many tools, you have reminders to follow up with clients, you have transaction coordinators that handle all the paperwork throughout the transaction, but that's just the basic of it. There's so much more, you have touring departments, you have the support team. Um, you have so much more help that you, that you don't have in traditional real estate. So my current clients, we are just poking through it. If they, anytime they want information, anytime they want to see a property, I just follow up and just continuously see them. If it's some time that they aren't not seeing a property, like if they wait two weeks or so if, and they have not seen a property, I make sure I follow up. So that's pretty much the game as a lead agent is when people come through this website, you just do your best to, to sell yourself and try to get them to use you at the end of the day. It doesn't matter exactly when they're going to purchase. It's just Redfin wants you to sell them on the Redfin experience. So when they do decide to purchase, it's through Redfin. And I do think Redfin makes it easy for them. So that's one thing I love that my clients, I don't have to book all these tours and set all these things up. It all goes through the touring department. I just have to show up and be there for my clients and provide any documentation or information that the client's looking for on the property. But it is still a grind. It is still a lot of work that you have to put in and be dedicated to. I've been with Redfin for three months and this is definitely um, some hard work that I, that I put in. But at the end of the very day, I enjoy the work. I enjoy the work of real estate. I enjoy the documents. I enjoy educating people. The biggest issue I had in traditional, just the money wasn't consistent. I have to feed my family. But Redfin really takes that away from me. I don't have to focus on the money. I don't have to focus on my bills. I just get to do my work, which is what I love. I wasn't consistent enough in traditional real estate. So either way, I was gonna to have to look for a job. But the fact that that job was something that I was already doing, it's, it's great, it's, it's phenomenal. So within these three months, man, it's, it's been awesome. The biggest, I, I would say, con is dealing with the clients. You know, not all the clients are fully ready and not all the clients are dedicated to Redfin and dedicated to using you. You know, you still have to sell yourself. You still have to respond to them and follow up. Um, but there are people out there that do have agents and that's just using the site to get the tour. And that's okay because you still get paid for that. But it's just the simple fact of weaving through those. There's people out there that do want to work with you. You just have to do the work. And that's, that's really what it is. It's just about showing up with Redfin and treating this as your business. And that's really what I'm trying to implement. What I was doing in tra traditional is the same thing that I'm trying to do here at Redfin. So one of the biggest things you, you really want to strive to, because it is a, a goal when you first get on at Redfin, when you first become a lead agent, they want you to get five deals within nine months. How crazy this market is, is 
definitely doable. It's just an unfortunate time to see buyers started backing out and it's not a lot of seriousness going on in the market but I'm here until I die. So regardless of what happens, I'm here sticking it out, here grinding it out and just doing what I enjoy. So I think the biggest selling point of all of this is not having the stress that new agents have when you are a traditional agent. Most traditional agents, you, you're working part-time. Most of them have a job. Most of them are just trying to build. And I think why not build with Redfin because they give you the opportunity to grow and to get better without that stress. So follow up is the biggest thing with this company. You know, a lot of clients, a lot of agents that I hear that are still continuously getting deals through this little dry spell that we're seeing, they all say, I've been working with this client for a while. I've been working with this client for over a year. I've worked with this client for however long. So it's just me understanding that, hey, I've only been with Redfin for three months. So technically I've only had three months to build my pipeline, but hey, at least within the, that time, I closed at 2.5 and I can't be thankful. <laughs> I am none but thankful because being completely real with myself, I wouldn't have gotten this opportunity if it wasn't for Redfin. I wasn't in Alameda County. I didn't know this client before Redfin. So there was no way that I would have made this happen. But thanks to the opportunities that I got through Redfin, I got the client, I got the deal and we closed. But all in all, within this three months, I. I most definitely will say that I am 100% thankful for this opportunity. I'm going to keep grinding and keep grinding and keep grinding. And you guys will get to see it here first. This is my experience. Redfin is just what I'm a part of. So a lot of people ask me, oh, does Redfin let you do these videos or how does Redfin? I'm not here to sell Redfin. I'm not giving you guys anything that's secret or private about Redfin. I'm just sharing with you guys my experience. And with that, I can't tell you guys how much I get paid. I will let you guys know that, you know, I think I said in other videos, not too sure, but I do want to give that disclaimer. A lot of people still ask me how much I made on this. Our different, our salaries are different depending on your area. And I don't want to offend anybody, especially my colleagues. So I'm not sharing my income because technically I'm giving you my personal income and I want to protect myself. So. I'm not sharing too much of that, but I will tell you my experience. I will tell you guys, if you love helping people and you like guiding people in the right direction and educating people, Redfin is a great way to get started as a real estate agent. And I tell people all the time, just get in the door. It's not about becoming a lead agent right off the bat. For me, I want the deals. I was getting deals before I got to Redfin, so I still wanted the deals when I came into Redfin. Some people are completely fine with being a transaction coordinator. Some people are completely fine with being an associate agent. Don't be discouraged if you don't get the lead agent role right away. Offer to do be an associate agent. Offer to do other things that's going to consi consistently bring you income. That's the, the name of the game. Consistently bring you income and you work your way up through this real estate game. That's what I had to learn. Through traditional real estate, I worked my ass off, but I didn't see the consistency that I wanted to see. And I realized that I didn't build enough trust in this industry. So I joined somewhere that's gonna allow me to do that with the consistent help. And I think you guys, and I think it'd be great for you guys too. So at the end of it, I'm thankful. The biggest con I would say is just some, some clients aren't easy to deal with. And I'm not saying the clients that I'm in transaction with are getting pre-approved. You just run across some sticky people. <laughs> But all in all, man, it's a great experience. I love what I do and I, I won't stop. I just won't stop. So, hey, man, make sure you guys subscribe. Make sure you guys reach out to me or follow me through Instagram at Derek Real Estate. Take it easy. Stay safe.